Well, hi. Welcome. Um, my name is Roger Plord. I'm a consulting forester working in central Massachusetts. I work with private landowners and land trusts and started my career uh, working at a sawmill, which was a great introduction for me. And um, Cynthia asked me today to share some of my experiences working with landowners, getting them started on the path of uh, managing their woodland. So uh, it's a woodland management is a broad topic, and I thought today that we would just start with how to get started. Basically, where do you where do you begin as a forest landowner who who um, is looking to be a good steward of their land? So, um, and in essence, that beginning point is with a forest management plan. It's it's a document that takes a lot of shapes and forms, but in essence it is um, a planning document that lays out your goals and meshes them with a description of what the land holds and with those two components, your goals and uh, the analysis of the land itself, you create a path forward which we call a management uh, set of management practices. Um, so that's what a management plan is. First off, uh, there's tons of confusion about what forestry is, forest management, what a forester does. I thought it's just create a, a context for the conversation with a few definitions. So forest management um, is the the whole ball of wax of what's involved in managing your forest. And that includes everything from the actual growing of and tending of trees to uh, protecting uh, your roads from erosion, um, protecting water resources, stream crossings, insect and disease issues. It's a broad and endless topic. <clears throat> all within forest management. And this, the one piece that foresters will tend to focus on most heavily, and it's a bit of our specialty, is on the actual growing and cultivating of trees. And the technical term for that is silviculture. Um, and it's a complex field. Uh, in Massachusetts, we've got uh, 27 different forest uh, associations and they all respond differently to management and uh, marriage of tree tree species and age age classes harvest histories silviculture is really addressing all those complexities and creating um, an approach that achieves the goals that you're trying to achieve one other term that we throw out a lot is a stand, um, and a stand is just, it's really the fundamental unit of uh, focus on a management plan. It's a, it's a delineation within your forest that uh, foresters will, will create uh, of where all the trees are of similar characteristics. Stands are defined um, by primarily by the, the, the dominant species within them. And we have a list in Massachusetts of distinct uh, forest types. Um, and it's usually uh, something like a mixed oak stand, or oak hardwood stands, or white pine, hemlock, things like that. And certainly, uh, they have white pine, you know, a white pine hemlock stand will have white pine and hemlock, but it'll, there are uh, minor associates in there too. We're trying to, we, we generalize a little bit and uh, uh, but those, those, each of those types uh, are unique because they, they're going to respond in a, uh, to a specific set of management practices. Um, 
So, the other definition that I just wanted to throw in there is, you know, we hear sustainable forestry uh, used a lot, and I, I have to say it's it's a bit redundant. Forestry is implied in the term forestry is sustainability, but unfortunately, all forestry hasn't been sustainable. So we add that adjective and um, try to distinguish ourselves as. Uh, taking into consideration um, the long-term sustainability of the forest. And in fact, you know, we sustainability has a lot of meanings, and I think foresters have, you know, originally we're, we're thinking about sustainability um, in terms of regrowing the forest and having trees uh, regenerate, and now sustainability is more about biodiversity, or, or it's expanded to include biodiversity and, and looking at the forest as an ecosystem rather than just uh, the trees, them, just trees by themselves. Where forestry becomes unsustainable is when uh, management fails to, to consider regeneration. Regeneration is fundamental. Uh, to forestry. It's, forestry is not simply about knowing when to, when your trees are mature enough to harvest. It's, um, it's much more complex than that because we are, we are attempting to regenerate the forest with, in most cases without planting trees. Um, so many years before your trees become mature, the, uh, steps are being taken to promote new growth. Um, now, our forests are, forests are incredibly resilient, and most people may know that uh, trees will grow no matter what you do. If you stop mowing your lawn, you're probably going to have a forest in a few years. Uh, so why do we care about regeneration if trees are just going to grow? Um, and that, the answer to that is all about composition and trying to ensure that uh, we maintain diversity of species. And oftentimes it's certain critical species that are fundamental to the ecosystem that we want to make sure we don't uh, lose in the management process. One such species is oak, because um, it's such an important food source for a lot of wildlife. So, we, and it's a very, it's pretty challenging to regenerate. Summarizing that little piece a little bit, so forestry, forest management is is the whole multiple multitude of activities uh, that you're going to participate in managing your woodland, and the silviculture is focusing in. Rate, you know, focusing in on growing trees and how different trees respond to inputs um, in terms of harvesting and regeneration and so forth. And um, because we're, you know, when we say silviculture is the cultivation of forest trees, cultivation c implies that there's a sustainability component to what we're doing. Without sustainability, all we're doing is mining the forest.